What is up everybody, my name is Vizio, and today we're going to be talking about Trolls Gone Wild. Now, if you don't know what a troll is, what I'm referring to is someone that goes on YouTube and pretty much causes a big fuss about everything. Like, you'll see the people that will go on the videos and they'll be the, they'll be, they'll try and be the first ones, like the type of comment, and usually they'll leave like first or something completely stupid, which they have no use for. Now, you all might not know this or not, but I'm gonna make this commentary pretty much out to Jericho. If you don't know him, he's a hilarious uh, YouTube commentator, and he just he decided to do a series. Well, he was starting to do a series. I don't know if he's gonna continue with it or not. But that it was pretty much like to get to know him better. Like uh, I can't remember. Like uh, it's a per it's a personal series though. And the first video is he actually told people his first and last name. Now, I'm not going to say his last name just because of what will happen, but his first name is Tucker and everything. But most people from the YouTube know him as Jericho. Well, he posted his... He said his first and last name and everything. And <clears throat> pretty much, he got a lot of trolling done to him. People were calling his house. Uh, there is, I guess, one person in particular that called his house multiple, like, multiple times harassing him and his family about it which is forcing them to change his uh... phone number like later today or tomorrow or like very soon but it's getting to the point where they're like they found his address they know they know his phone it's like house and cell phone number and they've just been calling non-stop and it's ridiculous like if someone trusts you enough to tell you their name and you go out and you abuse it and everything like that when it's not needed for it. Like, there's a step in between. You should, as a viewer, you should know if he's going to trust you to do that, then you should be able to respect him enough not to harass him. Like, that's completely crossing line over anything and everything there is. <clears throat> and then, like another example, uh, Gold Glove, uh, another great commentator. Uh, he was giving someone on his, on his main Facebook page, he uh, he was given like some some guy advice, which was being a complete dick back to Gold Glove. But Gold Glove left his first and last name on there, and everyone started like going and trying to add his regular Facebook page. <clears throat> I mean, that's nowhere near as bad as what's going on with Jericho. That's completely different. But the matter of fact is like they got a bunch of commentators have fan pages for a reason. It's like keeping your work and your home life completely separate that's what they're trying to do but when you got people like that like to go in and troll and make everything so much harder on them then it just ruins everything like it'll get to the point where they might not want to do it anymore to where they completely just delete their channel and do everything and then you let one person or a small group of people ruin something big that they worked a year however long for and then that was completely down the drain so like I don't understand why people can sit there and just like be that hardcore like b back to Jericho like I don't know how someone could sit there and say they're uh, like a true Jericho fan or something like that but yet go get his go get his phone number like and all of his stuff was unlisted so which means they had to do some serious searching like his house phone cell phone all of his everything all his information he said so himself was like hidden to where you can't just go in the phone book and find it but yet you got people that are seriously gonna go in and actually search through stuff just to get his phone number like that's ridiculous you shouldn't go through that much effort just to harass somebody like that and Jericho what he should do would be call the cops and report the person cause he has their phone number and he knows the city and state which they live but he doesn't know their like their full address <coughs> excuse me but like that's just completely crossing the line you should never it should never get that bad to the point to where you have to go out and change your game or your uh, phone number because people's harassing you and your family like, his family didn't do anything at all and they're getting some random people or person calling them and harassing them just because their son said his name on a YouTube video and the guy that's like doing all this he actually went and put a video up with Jericho's name and I guess I'm not sure if it was his address or not but they put his phone number up too 
And, like, seriously, that's just completely ridiculous. Like, how would you feel if people were out doing that to you? I mean, that's just way over the line. Like, it could get to... Jericho was... He was begging for him to stop and everything. Like, it, it was getting bad. <laughs> and then me, like, I love watching Jericho's videos. Like, he's, he's a very funny commentator. He's he's probably one of the funniest that I know. But for him to be begging somebody just to leave him alone and everything, that's, that's crossing the line like, way too far. I don't understand how anybody could do that at all and like just keep repeating it because they kept doing it <clears throat> like it, I just don't understand like the way people are sometimes it just amazes me <coughs> but guys like if you see Jericho or something like if you talk to Jericho at all or you comment on him on his pages or whatever like try to apologize and all that stuff like actually be a true like fan of the person don't sit there and be a dick call his house and pretty much ruin their day or their week or whatever's going on for him just because they trust you enough to put their phone number out or not their phone number but their name out like you should you shouldn't have to be afraid to say your name just because people's gonna go in and do all that shit but on the video right here you see me trying to call my chopper gunner like 20 times in a row because the kids I was playing with, like, it was getting hard to call the stuff in, and that attack, they called in an attack chopper, well, I think that's my attack chopper, but, look at that, I have to fast forward, that's, that's ridiculous. So, I, I sat there for like a minute, minute and a half, or something like that, just trying to call in my Huey, which is ridiculous. But it's on Nuketown, and, you know, it's not really my, my favorite map, actually, it's probably one of my worst maps. But as you can see, I got another attack chopper that I'm trying to get called in, so I'm just trying to get the XP now. <clears throat> but guys, like, all the trollers and everything, if you're going to go and comment on someone's video or something, like trying to say first or whatever it is, then don't cross the line. Like, go say first or whatever the hell you want to do, but don't sit there and just because he gives you his name because he trusts you, don't go out. Don't get their phone number and harass them, like, non-stop. Like, if they trust you enough to do that, then you should respect them enough not to sit there and, like, pretty much torture them like that. It's just completely crossing the line. <coughs> Guys, I got about a minute left of video. And, uh, something else that happened was, uh, Optic, Optic Nature, I'm pretty sure it was. Yeah, yeah, it's Optic Nature. His mom had a uh... she was walking to the kitchen and he posted this on twitter and said that she had a stroke and fell and uh... she hit her head on the floor and she's in the hospital now and nature was with her there so if y'all could just like stop by his channel or twitter or something it's like give him some support for that cause you know it's, it's hard to get, it's hard for him cause your mom's just she's in the hospital and it's hard <clears throat> just show him some support give him some love guys like uh... just try and comfort him tell him Put him in your prayers. Just do. Just try and make him feel better about the situation. But guys, the video's wrapping up. I figured I'd just get out there and say this little, you know, this little video, whatever you want to call it. But guys, this will wrap it up. I think I go like 57. I don't even know what I go, honestly. But guys, have a great day. Uh, holler at me. Don't forget to like, favorite, and subscribe. Uh, leave a comment. Tell me what you think I could do to improve my commentating skills. Alright guys, peace out.